nobody in the world knows that his thoughts are coming and going. Nobody. Who knows? Did you notice the thoughts before you came here, that the thoughts are coming, staying, going? Only here you could find out for the first time that there are thoughts and they come, stay and go. So this is the first benefit that you have derived from this satsang. You are watching the thought, isn't it? You are observing the thought and before you did not know, nobody knows. And once you are observing the thoughts, anything that you observe, the observer is different, isn't it? Yes. Anything that you observe, supposing this kerchief you observe, and you must be different as an observer. This is the object, you are the subject, is it? So observer is separate from the observed, number one benefit you have derived from here for the first time, because others always are washed away with the thoughts only. <coughs> they become thought only. And they play with the objects and get suffering. And then again they pick up another object, again they suffer. Yet again they call another object and again suffering. So this suffering is called samsara cycle of suffering, birth, death. This cycle will stay forever for those who don't come to satsang. Satsang is the only place which will apprise you of the fact that there is no coming, no going, no samsara. This is the last thought now. I is a thought also. I is a thought when you have closed the eyes. I am very happy that you have known that I is a thought. The only thought now is I thought. How to observe the I thought now as others? Now you have to separate yourself from I like other thoughts, like this kerchief you have seen, object. Now you have to be observer of the I, like kerchief, and separate yourself from the I, as you have done previously. So separate the I and observe it, and who is the observer? Find out. Bit difficult, no? So, how to solve this problem now? I thought you have to observe the I. How? Find out where the I is arising from, where the I that has been with you for millions of years, millions of years, I, 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 everybody's I. So now observe where the I is rising from. Yeah, where is rising from? I. You are using the word I, you know, isn't it? Where does it come from? Let 
and quiet. Yeah. So you can't find where the eye arises from. So what happens? You can find the source of all the things that you can see in the world, which is the source of the river. You go back slowly upstream, reach the mountains, you will see the source of the river, isn't it? Then slowly the river is returning to the ocean, isn't it? And then when the river discharges into the ocean, ocean, in the ocean, is there any river? in the ocean. Has the river an <laughs> entity as a river, personal identification as a river in the ocean? Many rivers are falling into the ocean. Instantly they become ocean. Characteristics are also changed. They require the same nature as that of the ocean and they don't find that once upon a time it was a river. So like this, the eye is now returning to the self, the source, as did the river. She liked, she lost her entity as a river, now I is proceeding and you said, I do not know, it's a, it's a quite good answer. Now I is merging into the Self, and which was the Source. Therefore, there is no I now. All is one Self. I still, I still see the shape of the river hmm? before it goes into the ocean. There is still the shape of the river before it goes into the ocean. Yes, it was a shape. It was a shape, and then there were banks, and then its movement flowing, returning to the ocean. It, there was a name of the river and a farm. So, getting into the ocean, there's no name, no farm. The river doesn't speak. I was once upon a time a river. My name was river, my farm was water, like this thing. And movement characteristic all settled down. So I is now discharged into the self. Self has no frontiers, has no name, no farm. So wherever there is a name and form, it has to be an object. And now the Self is empty. No name, no form, no frontiers, no beginning, no middle, no end. So you have to, not to think about it, not to make any effort. And now instantly the thought is dissolved and you will see, I am, you will recognize I am this. I am ocean, I am self. I am, I am. I am, I am. And this is called freedom end of samsara, end of suffering. So by thinking, you cannot understand. By making any effort, you can't do it. Therefore, you are advised to simply keep quiet, no effort, just for one instant of time. No thinking, 
no effort. Remove the effort and also thought, I thought, remove it for one instant of time. Just one moment, second. Simply watch, observe, and you are separated. I is a thought, observe it. And you are something else which cannot be described. I is a thought. Watch it, observe it, and then you will find who really you are.